gotta get this cash. I gotta get this money. I gotta get this money. I gotta get this cash. I gotta get this money. 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 Here we go. 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 Monday morning. Top of the morning, truck buddies. Everyone, trucker, checking in from uh, Indianapolis, Indiana. So I had service this weekend, and uh, that was uneventful. Got my truck back this morning, six o'clock. Look, I had to go about 25 miles to my delivery. Uh, one o'clock appointment. So of course, you know, I rolled the dice coming up here, and I'm chances to take. You know, you read the reviews, and uh, you know, I walked in. Folks are friendly. The lady was like, you know, your appointment's not to one o'clock, but we'll, we'll try to work you in. You know, that's the thing. Remember, when you go to these places. You know, be respectful. Don't start yelling at these folks for, for whatever no unknown reason. That's just totally uncalled for. You know, I've seen some of the reviews of how they're slow and this, that, and the other. I'm telling you, I walked in there, lay, lay was friendly. They don't have parking. I said, hey, well, you see that truck over there? You're going to go go make a new turn. You're going to sit right there on the side, and we'll and somebody will call you when they're ready for you. We're going to try and get you in as soon as we can. And that's what their review said. They try to get you in as soon as possible. All right. So I just, I just don't get it, man. Like I said, I've been, I don't have a problem with a handful of folks when I go somewhere, but take these tarps off, get them rolled up. Uh, the one truck already went back there, so I'm pretty sure I'll be next. Uh, so I'm trying to think. It's going to be about two hours. I'm going to try to time it just right to when I get my time back. But we'll worry about that when we get to it. But for now... Go snatch this stuff off. All right, I haven't been here in like over a year. But it's Alexandria Ind Industries, and they're in uh, Indianapolis. I literally was uh, five miles away from here, so it was the only thing that was available that was left over uh, um, after delivering late this afternoon. Well, those things you got to think about when you don't park up or can't park up. You know, you're going to kind of get stuck with what's ever left, what's ever left over. <clears throat> but pays pretty decent for how many miles. I got to go 140 miles for what it pays. So it's not bad. It's something you wish, you know, could have got it this morning and delivered it the same day. That's how close it is. But uh, going to a boat dealership, not a boat dealership, but a, a boat maker. So I think this goes on the boats like some kind of some kind of piece to go on a boat or something. Don't start me lying. All those people's grass. But uh, so Friday, of course, I went over my time. I went over by an hour and one minute. Now, I kind of played dumb, but I didn't because I couldn't remember what time I actually started. So. You know, I already knew I went over, so I was just waiting for the call or the email to say, you know, give them a call and say, hey, what happened Friday? And um, ran into traffic in Nashville, and it was bad weather. <clears throat> in theory, I could have made it. I should have made it. Um, the logs lady was telling me I should have went ahead and uh, uh, I should have did a split in Cartersville. I think I had like another 40 minutes or so, and I would have got that time back that I left there, and I went and went over on my 14. I didn't go over on my drive time. I just went over on my uh, my duty day. Now you want to try to avoid that as much as possible. Things are going to happen, but you're over. You're over, because in theory, if something's to happen, 
you know, God forbid getting an accident, you have no drive time. So bam, they got you, you know? So they're gonna go back and look at your records and see what else, what other stuff you've done wrong and just, you know, just try to hammer you. But like I said, I, I hardly ever violate, you know, cause it's just not worth it. Usually I'm not trip plan accordingly, but sometimes, you know, that traffic could get you and you know, some unfor unforeseen circumstances are gonna happen, all right? So, but like I said, don't make it a habit. You know, like I said, I do it probably, it habit happens like once a quarter, if that. Like I said, I don't try to make it no habit. And I don't try to, you know, always push my clock. That's why I always shut down early. So, yeah, always try to shut down within your, before your time runs out. You know, that's why you always want to trip plan accordingly and get you a good little uh, parking spot. Um, shutting down early. Just one less thing to worry about. Shipment's about 27,000 pounds. Not too bad. Going 140 miles. I uh, picked up here one other time before, and I think I went to Ohio, if I'm not mistaken. I went to uh, some kind of industrial place in Ohio, if I'm not mistaken. It was cold as balls, too. So this is this is pretty decent, even though it's like 50, 50 degrees out. So, But enough rambling. Um, I'm going to announce the winner of the hat or T-shirt uh, coming up shortly. So stay tuned, truck buddies. Everyone trucker signing off.